Good morning, this is Patrick McCullough, forecaster here at the National Weather Service office in San Angelo. Look at the upcoming forecast across West Central Texas. And really the big weather story for, uh, for today will be the, uh, the dangerous fire weather conditions uh, developing across uh, portions of the area. In fact, we have a, uh, what we call a, a red flag warning for possible uh, dangerous fire weather conditions extending across much of the, uh, much of the big country from uh, Haskell and Throckmorton down toward uh, Sweetwater, Sweetwater and Abilene. And then the southwest toward uh, Sterling and Coke counties, uh, down toward Mertzen, and into the uh, Ozona areas as well. These are areas where uh, south winds of 20 to 30 miles an hour will gust uh, 30 to 35 miles per hour, with relative humidity falling to uh, below 20% by uh, late afternoon. Again, we've seen some rainfall across uh, much of west central Texas over the last uh, six or eight weeks or so, but uh, we still have quite a bit of a dried brush and uh, some... Um, uh, that is that has lingered from a late summer, late last summer into the fall, and although the grass has greened up, the brush, uh, the dead brush, obviously is uh, is still acting as kindling. So, in these areas, if a fire does get started, uh, it may uh, quickly spread with these uh, with these strong winds. Keep in mind as well that uh, most fires are uh, are started by people, so uh, please use some extra caution and uh, avoid uh, doing anything that may um, that may uh, create a spark and uh, and uh, get a grass fire or a brush fire. Um, going fairly, fairly easily today. Otherwise, for today, uh, as those south winds increase, the temperatures will be increasing as well. Mostly sunny skies with high temperatures in the, uh, I'd say, the lower 80s down along Interstate 10 from Ozona toward uh, Sonora and Junction. I mean, to the uh, mid and upper 80s from uh, along and north of Interstate 20 from uh, Sweetwater and Abilene north into Haskell and Throckmorton. On Wednesday, it'll be a little bit cooler. Uh, we do have a weak cold front to be pushing through the area late tonight and early tomorrow morning. So uh, we're going to lop about 10 degrees off those temperatures for uh, tomorrow. That's still going to put us in the uh, mid and upper 70s pretty much area-wide. But at least it's not going to be quite as warm as what we were looking at today. Thank you, and uh, we'll continue to keep you updated.